Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode on how do you cook back to basics. Tonight, I'm gonna share with you how I make my homemade chicken pot pie. So first thing you'll need is one 12.5 ounce can of chunky chicken breast. We're gonna put that in the bowl. Now you'll wanna make sure that you've drained the water out of that can also, okay? And you're gonna want two cups of mixed vegetables. Now the mixed vegetables that I'm using is a veg all um, mixed vegetables. This is just a little bit simpler recipe than cutting your own vegetables and putting them in there raw. So these are already cooked, so it just it's just a little bit simpler. And now we wanna add one and a half cups of cream of chicken soup. Now this is a simplified version, y'all. So if you're in a pinch and you want to make something quick and easy, this is super quick and easy. Okay, we're going to put a half of a teaspoon of pepper in there. And I'm going to put that over to the side. And now what you want to do is just mix everything really well. Now, you make sure that your vegetables and your chicken is completely, completely drained. You don't wanna have any water in your vegetables or your chunk chicken. All right, so I added one can of chunk chicken. Now, if you wanted more chunk chicken, you can add that to it. I actually think I might do that. Might add one more can of chunk chicken. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna put in about half of this. Okay, I'm just gonna put about half this can, not the whole can. Okay. I think that's good for now. And I'll just check and see if I think it needs a little bit more. Now you can um, go to your local grocery store and grab a rotisserie chicken that's already cooked. You can use that instead of the chunked chicken like that right there. So it's just your preference on what you think that you want in your chicken pot pie. Okay, let's see. Let me measure my chicken. Yeah, I think one and a half cans of chicken chunks is good enough. Now, if you want more, add more. If you want less, add less. Okay, let me grab my pie shell here, y'all. I'm gonna set this to the side. Okay, now, y'all, this is a nine inch deep dish pie shell right here. Now, you may not need the entire bowl of contents that's in this bowl. So you just wanna fill it up to your preference. You don't want it to overflow because if it overflows, then it's just gonna get all over your oven during the cooking process. Okay, now what you wanna do is just spread it apart, spread it out. Now you try, wanna make sure you don't cover up the sides of that pie um, shell right there because you're gonna we're gonna put another piece of the pie, the pie shell crossed over that. Okay, so now over this, you wanna add a little bit of butter, like four teaspoons of butter. That's it. 
Now, I didn't add any salt to this because I think that our chicken breast is gonna be salty enough. So let me grab my pie shell here. Okay, so I have the rolled out pie shell right here that I'm gonna put on the top of, of this. So you wanna kinda roll it out actually. <laughs> <laughs> and just try to make it as even as possible and just start smashing around the edges here as best you can I'm gonna try to push it in a little bit that way it'll um make that little mold there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get me a fork. Mash it down good, y'all. Try to get it, get those two crusts to adhere to each other. I will tell you a little trick though. If for some reason you don't have the rolled out dough that you can just lay on top of it. You can easily use another nine inch deep dish or regular pie shell and just pop it on top of it. That would act as your topping. Okay, see what I'm doing there? I'm adhering the crusts together and now what you want to do is, I would just kind of take that off the sides there. Just gently work your way, removing the excess high shell there. Okay, just make sure that's on there good and this is just a simple basic recipe. You don't need all of those extra ingredients that some people say that you have to have or it's not going to be good. You can make simple basic recipes with just the minimal amount of ingredients and it tastes just as good if not better y'all you be the judge okay so there's that we have a pie shit we have our pie ready to go our chicken pot pie so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make some little slits right in the middle Kind of in the, not really in the middle, but on the corners to kind of um, let that steam escape from inside that pot pie. Now see, wasn't that easy? You, did, you don't need all those extra ingredients to make something good. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going to put a little bit of an egg wash on this to kind of help it get a little bit brown on the top. See, y'all, you don't need much. I mean, who has the money to buy 20 different types of uh, seasonings? for a meal. I know I didn't when I was growing up or when I was a young, young wife. I didn't have the money for all that. You know, we just ate what we could find in the cabinet and we just uh, compromised and made what we could. Okay, y'all, once this gets ready to come out of the oven, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. 
Bye bye now. Be back in a minute. Hey y'all, our chicken pot pie is cooked and ready to be served. So I left mine on the stove for about an hour after it came out of the oven to cool a little bit. But you don't have to do this. You can serve it immediately. Well y'all, that wraps up this episode on how do you cook back to basics. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that thumbs up button and do consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming recipes. See you next time, guys. Love you lots. Bye-bye now.